A female wrestler ever married. I see her going for a plastic surgery that might tamper with her womb and a blood vessel and a sharp cut on her pelvic bone, on her pelvic bone. So unbearable pains, bleeding, and even in standard. The only way to stay alive is to avoid this surgery, especially if it is not necessary for our basic health. Be contented to the way the Lord God created you and be happy and proud about Him who created you. Today, females are trying to abandon the, the beautiful body the Lord gave them in search for rapper chest and waist. <laughs> what shall you tell the Lord your God on the day of judgment? And Satan has so much captivated the minds and hearts of these doctors, those doctors who perform these unnecessary surgeries with a spirit of lukewarmness, carelessness, and very unseriousness. So much such that despite the tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands paid to them, in their minds and hearts, they say, let's perform this unnecessary surgery very fast and dive into more important things. Hence, cutting across true cells, let's cutting across true cells and vessels that are not supposed to be touched at all, killing their patients in the process slowly but surely, even after they must have regained consciousness, come back alive after the surgery. Only very few doctors who perform all this unnecessary plastic surgery worldwide still have their minds and heart intact in check and in their right in their right psychological and spiritual sanity. Satan has disoriented the rest and messed them up to continue sending souls to hell after meeting God to answer this very one particular question. Very typical. What was the last major thing you were doing on earth before you came up here into my very presence, child? Will you say you went for plastic surgery because you never loved the body they did not give you? <laughs> Only for them, restore their self-confidence and respect so that they deceased from untimely death and hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay, then.